So this chapter will cover some specific examples of how AI is being used in planning. A lot of these relate to data collection methods that we're seeing more and more of today, again, because data is such an important element of artificial intelligence techniques and methods. So the first is facial recognition data. This technology, often used in public surveillance, raises concerns about privacy, consent, and the potential for discriminatory profiling based on race, gender, or age. And license plate readers. Used for monitoring traffic and parking, these can track the movement of individuals without their knowledge, leading to concerns about surveillance and data misuse. And also Google Street View images. While useful for understanding neighborhood conditions, these images can reveal personal details about residents' lives and property without their consent. It's also important to note that you can have your house or areas of your property blurred out at request of uh, at the request of Google. And social media data. Planners might use this data for understanding community opinions or trends, but it raises issues for privacy and consent and the potential for misinterpretation of online behavior, particularly when other account information is made available or is accessed. And mobile location data. We're seeing more and more of this today with all of the devices that we're using where, for instance, data from smartphones and GPS-enabled devices can help in understanding traffic patterns and mobility. But again, it also tracks individual movements raising significant privacy concerns, particularly when that location data can be associated with personally identifiable information for that person. In public Wi-Fi data, collecting data from public Wi-Fi networks can reveal personal browsing habits and locations leading to privacy infringements. We might see that there is a great benefit to providing network access in open public spaces, but on the other hand, then uh, that may create uh, opportunities for misuse of that information if it gets into the wrong hands. And utility usage data, information from smart meters or utility providers can be used as a planning resource, but could also reveal detailed insights into private home life. And another example we see is an increased use in drones and aerial surveillance for data collection. Drones and aerial surveillance are used for mapping and surveying, uh, but drones raise concerns about privacy invasion as they capture images and data from private properties, particularly without prior consent. One project that raised many of these concerns was Sidewalk Lab's Keyside Project. The Keyside Project was a smart city development in Toronto and had a, used a variety of these technologies, including AI, in terms of how the space was planned and how it would be utilized. There were significant worries about how personal data collected in public spaces would be used, stored, and shared, especially given Alphabet's broader business interests in data. And surveillance, the extensive use of sensors and technology in the project led to fears of constant surveillance, potentially infringing on the privacy rights of residents and visitors. And data governance, Questions arose about who would own and control the data collected in the Keyside development. 
concerns included the potential for misuse of data by private entities or government. And the consent and public consultation. There were issues regarding the extent of public consultation and consent for the data collection methods employed in the project, the lack of clear communication and transparency added to the unease, and concerns about commercialization of the data, the fears that data collected could be used for commercial purposes by Alphabet or other private entities rather than solely for improving the uses of the public space. There were also concerns about how the project would set precedents for future developments. This project was seen as setting a precedent for how data-driven urban development projects would be approached globally, thus raising the stakes for addressing these ethical concerns adequately. In response to these concerns, urban planners must ensure robust data governance frameworks, prioritize transparency and public consultation, and improve strict privacy and protection measures. Balancing the benefits of technology with ethical responsibility is key to fostering trust and acceptance among city residents. It is not always easy to completely think through all of the issues that may arise around new data collection methods. There may be good intentions behind collecting lots of data from constituents, but some input or opinions may be personal and not intended for the larger audience. Make sure stakeholders are involved in designing these efforts and testing their practicality. The next chapter will briefly describe several examples of how jurisdictions are developing guidance and strategies for AI technologies as they look forward into the future.